right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today, uh, I'm gonna start putting my motor back together. I know in the last video, last few videos, I did the cam swap, and then I did the, I swapped the springs out for the BTR uh, springs. They're a little stiffer than the OEM springs. So what I got is I got my valve covers. So I got both of the valve covers. Um, I have all the the bolts and studs that go in them. They also came with the they came with the the new rubber to put on them. I have the cam position sensor, the crankshaft position sensor, and the oil pressure sensor. And I also have the oil pressure switch socket. And this is, this is made specifically to slide down over that. Um, so here they are on the engine. This is the cam position sensor, the oil pressure, and the crank position sensor down here. So I'm gonna switch all three of those out uh, and I'm gonna start working on getting my valve covers. I've already cleaned all the surfaces so everything will go on good. So now I'm just going to um, work on getting everything straight. And then I'll be back. Alright, so it's time to get this thing back together. So as you see, I already put the valve covers back on. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and change out these seals. While everything's open. Um, this held on by a 10 millimeter. And the crankshaft is held on by a crankshaft. Uh, sensor is held on by 10 millimeter as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these squared away. And as I showed you before, this is the oil pressure socket that slides right down and gets right into it. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and change that out as well. Um, so I'll come back once I pull these out and take a look. Okay, so I got them all pulled out and I cleaned up the areas, the surfaces. So that's where the cam position sensor go, the oil pressure, and then the crank position sensor down here. So here they all are, along with the part numbers. That's the one for the oil pressure. That's the crank. And then this is the camshaft position sensor so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna oil up oil up the o-rings on these two uh, that one's already got some thread thread locker on it so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put a little oil on the o-rings and then I'm gonna stick them all in and then uh, and then I'm gonna move on I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the front timing cover on um, and then I'm gonna flip it over and put the pickup tube back on uh, And start putting the oil pan and then I have to take it off the stand that way I can um, Do the rear main seal so I'm gonna take it off, and I need to change the flex plate as well So I'm gonna take it off um, Yeah, I'm gonna take it off the stand put it on the engine hoist and I'm gonna try to change that that way So but yeah, I'll get back to it in a minute all right, y'all, so at this point, I got my engine turned over. I went ahead and installed uh, the, all the items, the sensors that I had, the three sensors. Uh, I do have one more sensor that I'm going to replace, which is the uh, temp sensor that goes right here in the head uh, on the driver's side. So I am going to uh, replace this one. Since I am replacing everything else, so I'm going to just go ahead and replace this to give me some peace of mind. Uh, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the pickup tube back on. So here's the pickup tube. Uh, I did put a new gasket on there. Um, that's what everybody kept saying. Make sure you put a new gasket on the pickup tube. So I did. Uh, there is multiple gaskets that you can use. So you want to make sure that you have the correct gasket. So I got that on. Um, as you can see, I had to push down to get that on. So I'm gonna go ahead and button this up, get all the bolts and stuff put back in. It's not, the only bolts I took out is that one, this one. And there's only one bolt that's holding on this pickup tube. 
So I'm gonna get that one tightened down and then uh, we should be good to go for that portion and we'll move on to the to the front timing cover. Okay, so I got the pickup tube on. So now I know in my previous videos, I told y'all about the alignment kit that I bought. Um, and that alignment kit is gonna help me ensure that uh, the oil pan and the front cover as well as the rear cover will all line up uh, so I won't have to worry about no leaks. Um, so it came with this piece as well. And what that does is it goes inside the timing cover here. And then when you're putting it on, it helps you align up with right here. So everything will be in line and everything will be good. So, um, so that's my next step is to do, to do that. Um, so I did purchase the new timing cover seal. It is AC Delco. And then um, here's the round seal that goes in the front. I did purchase that one. Uh, and it is AC Delco as well. So with this one, I, um, this is the old one that I took out. And the way that I got it out is I just took a, a punch and I stuck it in the crevice here and I just hit it with a hammer about two times and it popped right out. It was on pretty tight. Uh, so I'm going to start working on this and I'll come back once I get it on uh, and then line now and then I'll uh, then I'll put it all on. So I'll be back soon. Okay, so as you see, I got it all. I got it on. It's not snug. I just got the bolts in. But I actually put the alignment tool on. And as you can see, this alignment tool helps it right here helps it keep it straight in a line. Um, so I guess sometime when people put them on, uh, this has like a little gap in between it and it starts to leak. So um, these alignment tools are there to help. And this one here is to help uh, keep the, cause the crank seal is out. So with this on, uh, it keeps it in place, uh, just like that seal was on there. So it's gonna keep it, keep it right where it needs to be at. Um, left and right so this helps uh up and down and this helps left and right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up uh what i didn't show y'all is i have been using this uh this book it's called uh how to build gm ls series engines and uh the good thing about this book is it has everything in here uh, so right now i'm working on installing the front cover so as you can see, it's got the front cover. Um, it it tells you about the GM tool that they offer. That tool is like really expensive. And then after you uh, tighten everything down, you check it with a straight edge to make sure that it's nice and flush. Uh, this also will tell you like um, the torque, torque specs on everything, your oil pan. So. Uh, you can follow right along with this book and it's going to tell you everything you need to do. Um, my reason for buying a book is because I'd rather just spend the money on all these tools that I'm getting than pay somebody else to do it uh, and then have to go behind them and fix fix things anyway. So, um, so I'm going to give it a try myself and we're going to see what works. So I'm going to go ahead and get this snug down and then when I check it with a straight edge, uh, I'll come back. So now I got all the bolts torqued down. Uh, it was 18 foot pounds. So I torqued all the bolts down. I went in a star pattern and I got it all lined up. Um, so at this point, I wanted to check with the straight edge to see what we got, see if it was nice and flush. And as you see, it is nice and flush. There's no dip in it. Uh, let's check this side. Same thing, there's no dip in it. Everything is nice and flush. Um, and I think I could have got it flush without the tool, but I guess the tool helps. Uh, it takes the guessing out of it as well as this right here. So um, I got the whole kit on Amazon. I think it was like 60 bucks and it came with the one for the front uh, to align the cover and where the oil pan goes. And it also came with uh, with one to 
put on the rear main seal as well, which is right here. So that came with this one as well. But the rear main seal, I have a whole new cover. So that won't be a little bit easier. I won't even need that. So at this point, I think I'm gonna turn it back over. Um, I'm gonna put it on the, put this, the LS plate, lift plate where the valley cover goes. Oh, there it is right here. Put this on where the valley cover goes. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jack this up. Next thing I want to change is, I'm gonna go ahead and change out the flex plate and I'm gonna change out the rear cover. Uh, but that's it for today. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this video uh, and then we're gonna keep pushing through. Um, as I said, the next one, we're going to put on the oil pan, we're going to do the rear main seal, and we're going to start putting everything back together. We're going to start putting the front accessories on. Uh, we're going to get it all, all knocked out. I got the, uh, the motor mounts that's going to go right here. So I got them already prepped and painted. Uh, I think I do need to clear them, so I may clear them tomorrow. Um, that way I can go ahead and get them on while I got the engine like this. All right, so I got the motor up off the, the jack stand, not the jack stand, uh, the engine stand. So I got the motor up off the engine stand. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, uh, the flex plate off. Um, and then after I take the flex plate off, I'm gonna start working on that rear main seal. Uh, I do have the flex plate for the 4080. I think I picked it up from Jags. So I do have one. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch that all out while I, why I got it off now, that way I can put it back on the jack stand. Um, so those, these, I'm gonna take out these, and then like I said, I'm gonna take out this rear, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this rear main seal on, and as well as the oil pan, and we're gonna start putting this thing back together. All right, check it out in a second. So I got it off, and I cleaned it up a little bit. As you can see, there's the old gasket. There's the old rear cover. The one that I ordered came with a new rear cover with the seal already in it, and it came with hardware. Uh, I think I got this one off Rockware, Rock Auto as well, so I don't have to worry about cleaning that one up. So I cleaned that. Now I'm, uh, now I'm going to uh, start putting it back in. So I'm going to put it in. They come with the hardware, so I'm going to put this on, torque the bolts, and I'm gonna use my alignment tool that I use for the front cover. I'm gonna use for the back as well to make sure it's nice and centered, um, up and down. And then to center it, I have the other alignment tool. So once I get it up there and get it set, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the alignment tool that comes with the rear so it can center it. Um, and then, uh, so I thought that this tool this alignment tool was used for the front and back, but the back doesn't line up. The holes doesn't back up, doesn't line up with the back ones. So that's fine. All I did, take a straight edge and make sure it's straight. And then once I, uh, once it's straight across, which it is. And then once I take a look at this one, yep. And then once I, once I tighten them all down, I'm gonna check it again before I install the flex plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down uh, and then go in a star pattern. So, and then I'll be back. So I uh, got the cover, got all the bolts tightened down and uh, I just put on the flex plate. So I didn't bolt it in yet. So now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna go ahead and bolt down the flex plate uh, I did order the ARP bolts. So these are the flex plate bolts. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and install these. I'm gonna torque these down uh, to the specified setting. And then I'm gonna jump into, uh, I'm gonna put it back on the stand. And once I put it back on the stand, I'm gonna flip it over, put the oil pan on, and then I think I may be done for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock that portion out. Okay, so I got the, I got all the flex plate bolts in, the ARP bolts. I put some light top tight in them, and as well as some of this lubricant that the direction said I need to do. Um, and then I went to, I went to torque them down, but when I started torquing them down, 
of course it started spinning um, I had forgot that I had picked up this flex plate locking tool that way you're I'm able to torque these down I got this off Amazon and this goes right there I got this off Amazon for like 13 bucks or something like that and then when I was doing research I saw someone said I may need it so I just went ahead and picked it up when I was ordering a bunch of other stuff so um, it did come in handy now I'm about to go ahead and torque all these down and then we're gonna keep it moving all right so I got it back on the stand and now I'm gonna go ahead and put this oil pan on so as you remember I cleaned up the oil pan in my previous videos uh, got it all cleaned up. I am gonna wipe it one more time um, And then here's the Here's the gasket it's felt pro So I did get the felt pro one of course, you know I ordered it off rock auto um, So I'm gonna start cleaning this up and then I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and then I'm gonna to torque these bolts down uh, as you can see uh, my goal is to keep that nice and lined up and it is um those corners um in the corners i'm gonna put some gasket maker in each one where they connect that to keep it from leaking so um yeah i'll be back all right so i'm back i finally got the oil pan put on um i went ahead and put the motor mounts on so the motor mounts are on uh, oil pan everything's down there uh, both sides I put them on uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the AC compressor on uh, down here remember I got the brand new AC compressor so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that on tomorrow and start start throwing on some of the accessories uh, is my plan I did go ahead and put on my harmonic balancer and the flex plate lock came in came in handy again uh, while I was torquing this down uh, luckily I got both torque wrenches I got the half inch one that goes up to like 300 I think feet pounds and then uh, this one the smaller one so um, that's it for today I gotta clean up my garage as you can see I got stuff everywhere so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this stuff up um, is this your first time watching my videos? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, like the video. Let me know down below what you think of my progress so far. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.